What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Lyrics to another favorite hymn of mine, written by an Irishman named Joseph Scriven, who was living in Canada. These lyrics started out as a poem sent to his mother in Ireland, who was seriously ill at the time. Scriven had left his home at the age of 25 because his religious beliefs estranged him from his family and because of his heartbreak stemming from losing his fiance, who accidentally drowned the night before their wedding. The poem to his mother was entitled, Pray Without Seizing, and that is something that we need to do in our lives. We need to pray, and we need to pray often. At Plymouth, we started a prayer group with the aim of everyone praying together at 9 a.m., noon, and 9 p.m. every day. Of course, I had to set the alarm on my phone so that I'd remember. And in doing so, I realized how everyday life can interrupt the best of intentions to go to the Lord in prayer. Now I don't let anything stop me from praying at those appointed times. Work, grocery shopping, projects, meetings. I just stop and quietly ask God for three things we all ask for together. To bless our families, to bless our church family, and to bless our country. How many times do we worry over things we can't control? How many times do we suffer through troubles and temptations? Yet this hymn admonishes us not to do that because we have a loving Savior who will take care of all these issues if we just take them to him in genuine, honest, and fervent prayer. Join me in prayer. God, I thank you for the gift of music you have given us in the form of hymns that we can use to worship and praise you for all the blessings you have given us and to testify to your glory. Thank you for wiping away our sins through your son's death on the cross and for giving us inner peace when we acknowledge that you will deal with our earthly trials for us. Hear our prayers and may your will be done in our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.